Hey guys, as you can see, we got two Jaguars sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars. You know, these were very popular cars back during the 80s and the 90s, just like the Mercedes and the Porsches that we did. These Jaguars have also come through for the 2000s. So the popularity is still there for all three automakers. But you know, the Jaguar was an English-based automaker and it always stood out with those quad headlights. As you see the long front end, people used to love to see that long front end on these cars and they would house either sometimes a six cylinder, but you saw many with V8s and definitely with V12 motors. Now, as we take a good look at this beautiful red car, we're gonna um, get a better look at this information board here and find out what the specs are. As we can see, it's a V12 and a 1990 Jaguar XJS. You see the mileage and you also see the price. Well, so far so good with this car. I mean, it's a beautiful car. I love the red paint, as I said before. But as we take a look into this English engineering for these cars and look at the dashboard, how lovely it is. And we also take a look at the center console. It's a beautiful color on this car as far as the uh, leather interior. I would say that would be a, what, a beige or a tannish, light tannish color. But man, it's very clean in this car. As we take a look outside at the rear window, you know, you had the, had the nerd that had two seats in the back. <laughs> but... Take a good look at that rear bumper, it was that long chrome wraparound type bumper with the dual exhaust for this thing. And these cars are very elegant for it to be a sports car, you know. Packing a V12 power, I mean, Jaguar was, you know, it stood out, it stood out for its own unique looks. And it, it was very popular, very popular car. And there's the other tip. And we look at these rims on here, the BBS style rims. You know, uh, you really in the day couldn't touch it, but you know, Jaguar had their fair share of problems too with their cars. So people loved them and then some people didn't. <laughs> but taking a look at this cockpit, yeah, a true European feel right there. And these cars really, I, as I was told, now I never driven one, but as I was told when you rode them, they really packed the punch when you got it moving on the highway. And there was a Carfax for you in case you wanted to look into this car. If you come back around to the front end, the same thing with the bumper on the front, that wraparound chrome bumper. Now as we look at the white one, this is a later model from the 1990. And the headlights, as you can see, are totally different. And, uh, you, you know, you get that same feel with their long front end. And the thing about these Jaguars, especially this one, you don't have as much chrome on the bumper, but you do have enough. You do have your hood ornament. And on the wheel wells, you get that little flare of, of chrome. The nice rims on here. And this is a convertible, too. So, you know, you, did you really need to, a lot? just to be able to run out on the streets and enjoy yourself. And with a convertible, not really. But we're gonna take a look at the informational board. As we see, is this car has a 4.0 inline six, so it's a straight six in this car. So, you know, you're still getting your power with this Jaguar, but you're not burning as much fuel. And you see the mileage, the actual mileage on here. But the thing about it, when you look at this car, you would think V8, I know I did, but to know that it's an inline six in here, well, yeah, this car is meant for cruising, it's convertible. Looking at this interior, the back seats are there, but everything is in mint condition. Looking at that dashboard, going to the center console, everything's at fingertip touch, you know? You really couldn't beat these things when it came to comfort, but yeah, I would say, there was Mercedes Benz and BMW really had the ups on Jaguar 
and certain things, but Jaguar had its own unique luxury. You know, that's the thing about Jaguar. If you had a Jag, you had something special. And it had dual exhaust back here, you know, for inline six, you know. Yeah, that says it's telling you something. This thing had some performance, you know, more so than just a six cylinder just put, put, putting down the street. As we take a look at these rear lights, you know, and the design on the back, you didn't have as much chrome wrapped around bumper, but you had some nice features. And there's your gas cap. And those are some nice rims on here, you know. As we take a look in at the cockpit, yeah, you get to see all the gauges, but the speedometer, that beautiful European style, and the coming off that front end of the steering column, you know, you it's, it, 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 it spoke European, you know. And it was, it was a European stylish type of car. And if you had it, you know, yeah, you were in the know. People knew that you had something going on for yourself. And that front end, boy, those cars just have that beautiful look, that super sinister sports look like. If you like the colors, you like the cars, they're at Gateway Classic Cars. Now, we take a look at a more updated Jaguar. I found this one there, and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this one as well. But take a good look at this front end. This is a four-door sedan. And man, look at the, look at, let's look at the, the, the front end of the, the mesh right there for the grill. That was woven. It wasn't like it was pressed or cut. That was woven. Yeah, that was a very nice feature. I love the front end of this car. And uh, you still have your emblem there. These are beautiful five-star Jaguar rims. Pressed right at the company. As we take a look at the information on board, you all see the price, 07 Jaguar, black on black, and a supercharged V8. <laughs> so you can have your fun and still have an elegant look and something to take the family around in. Yeah, this beautiful black on black interior, boy. And it even has a sunroof, you know. Well, let's look in the passenger side. Seats are nice and well kept. Really good condition. Black interior, black with the wood. Dashboard looks great. Center console looks great. Everything at the fingertip touch. You know. Nice looking vehicle, man. And Jaguar, they didn't spare any expense for the comfort and the fit and the feel of their cars. And looking at that back, see, and, and with this particular Jaguar, you have some leg room back there, you know. It's just not a cramped feeling. Now, the trunk may be a little smaller, <laughs> but hey, you still have that wraparound bumper with the chrome and that nice look. Dual exhaust. I always loved how their rear end, the tail end lights always stood out on the Jag. Because it basically let you know that's a Jaguar. It distinctively told you it's a Jaguar. <clears throat> and the passenger side, or the driver's side, rear end seats. They, it's nice. That's all I can say. This is nice. Very nice. As we look into the driver's side at the cockpit, you know. This car should be in somebody's garage right now or somebody driving it right now. But it's sitting at Gateway Classic Cars, you know. If you're into Jaguars or European cars, you know, as you see this one, they get some of the better ones. Whether they be old or newer, you know, they're still in really good condition. And we take another look at this front end. This car is really nice, man. Yeah. Jaguar built some real nice cars. When they first started building up to, to, to this date, they still built some really nice cars. You can't beat them, especially with the looks and the comfort. All right, guys. Later.